Jesus. I'm Andy Lumet, Evangelist. This program is not for your bastard children of England. It's for men and women of Chelsea Black Church from the age of 21 years old to 150 years old and above. It's not for your bastard children of England, so please keep your bastard children away from our ministry. Amen? Amen. Today we are talking about authority, the authority of Jesus. Jesus Christ gave the church authority to cast out demons and to heal the sick. Authority to cast out demons and to heal all manner of diseases. read from Luke chapter 10 verse 19 are you still here Luke 10 19 says listen I have given you authority so that you can walk on snakes and scorpions and overcome all the power of the enemy I have given you authority so that you can walk on snakes and scorpions and overcome all the power of the enemy. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. You see, Jesus sent the disciples to preach the gospel. They came back, they, they were rejoicing. The 72 men came back with great joy. They said, Lord, even the demons obey us when we gave them command in your name. So the revelation God gave me was authority, divine authority is admiration. What the disciples were saying is, Lord Jesus, the demons admire us when we give them command in your name. And they came out. Divine authority is admiration. That's the difference between authority and power. The government used power to, to force you to do things. But God, Jesus, don't do that. He used his authority so that the, 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 uh, the person who is the recipient of the blessing can cooperate with Jesus to receive to you know to, to get the, the miracle done. So the, the disciples were sent, 72 men were sent by Jesus men, men, women, to go and preach. He told them, cast out demons, heal the sick, and tell them the kingdom of heaven has come to you. So the disciples, when they did that, and they came back a few days later, they came back in great joy and said, Lord, they said, even the demons obeyed us when we gave them command in your name. The demons admire us and they did what we told them to do. They came out of the people in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's why Jesus said, I see, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. In the name of Jesus, every satanic prince over England today will command you to fall like lightning in Jesus' name. Amen. Fall. Satan, fall. From the sky like lightning in Jesus name amen uh, so remember this right that the authority divine authority is admiration I give you an example um, this one here is a eyewitness report a group of people sitting down just having a conversation of relatives among them was a member house of parliament now we live in london england we have a house of parliament here in 
London, I don't know your the place you live, you might have a parliament or senate. Among the group of people that were sitting in that meeting, there was a member of parliament. Among the group of people, this was just family gathering, nothing particular, maybe having a barbecue or something in the garden. So as they were talking, the member of parliament was sitting on the chair. He began to talk. And one of the men said to him, Shut up! Sit on the floor! Who told you to talk when we were talking? The, the member of parliament said, oh, oh yes, yes. He sat on the floor in, in admiration of this man. He waiting, the member of parliament is waiting for his next command. Oh, how, how fortunate I am to be rebuked to sit on the floor. Oh, how lucky I am. Are you listening to me? In admiration for, for that man, the, his elder, not elder, they were both about the same age. And the man who is telling the member of parliament to sit on the floor, the man is unemployed. You're not listening to me. He's unemployed. Well, he completed university, but he's unemployed. The member of parliament is employed. He has his, his government car. He has his security guard. He has everything. He has power, but he, he hasn't got authority. So the unemployed man told the member of parliament, shut up, sit down on the floor. The parliament, yes, yes. yes. And the parliamentarian could see the smile coming to his ear. He, he's looking up to the, to the unemployed man now for the next command in joy and happiness oh what's how fortunate i am that he had told me to sit on the floor are you listening to me authority but what has happened is a, a few generations ahead of them that unemployed man his grandfather was a monarch of that region a monarch a traditional monarch the unemployed man father was maybe a councilman or servant but he was not he was not up to the level of that unemployed man's grandfather this is back in the 50s 40s okay so that that authority that that authority is still there in the in the lineage that's why based on his based on who he knows or whose son he is he can tell the parliament member of parliament, shut up, sit on the floor, and the member, member of parliament will get up from the chair. I saw this. Okay. He gets up from his chair. For example, he's sitting here. He gets up on the chair, and he sits on the floor. He's, he's, he sits on the floor, and he's waiting for the next command in expectation. Ooh, he just told me to sit on the floor. How fortunate I am. Are you listening to me? So God told me, authority is admiration. It is not fear. It is not force. The slave master, the white man, used to force the slaves to obey him. That's not authority. That's, that's a form of satanic power. So godly power would not dehumanize people. He put fear in. That's why the British used fear to subjugate the black people. And the black man who refused to fear the British, who refused to fear the police, the, the police will go and tell the other people, oh, it's so grass, it's grass, it's why he want to separate them. You don't want that black man to transform, to, 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 to put his boldness and his courage in the slaves. So that's why you try to cut the slaves off from not listening to him. But the devil is a liar. We're going to expose that devil today. Listen, Jesus says, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. So that devil you are afraid of, he crashed on the pavement without a parachute. Okay? Authority, divine authority is admiration. God says I should tell you that. Admiration for the speaker for the one carrying the authority is admiration the next bible verse we're going to go quickly uh i i read this either on uh luke chapter 7 verse 6 
Okay, we'll go to verse 6. So Jesus went with them. He was not far from the house when the centurion said, sent friends to tell Jesus, Sir, he said, the centurion sent his friends to tell Jesus, Sir, don't trouble yourself. I do not deserve to have you come into my house. I neither do I consider myself worthy to come to you in person. Authority. Now, this Roman soldier was a brigadier general, but he recognized the authority of Jesus. Now, let me finish this story. He said, Just give the order, and my servant will get well. I too am a man placed under authority. Of superior officers and I have soldiers under me I ordered this one come come and he comes I ordered this one go go and he goes I ordered that one come and he comes authority I order my servant do this and he does it now I told you authority is admiration of the speaker admiration now listen to what Jesus says Jesus was surprised when he heard this he turned around and said to the crowd following him, I tell you, I have never found faith like this, not even in Israel. Jesus admired him. He admired his faith. Just as the servants admire that man, they do what he says. People will salute the Brigadier General. Why they admire him? People in that field, in the military, I won't go around saluting nobody. Okay, but Jesus says salute no one. But in the military, in the police, they, they admire the superior officers. I'm talented. Women admire me. They want to follow me home. They buy things for me. They admire me. I'm talented. I pray for one white woman. Uh, one time she called me to go visit her. I went to her house. She she said, Andy, pray for me. I said, what is it? She said she's on the NHS waiting list for her nose. Did she supposed to go to the hospital to do some surgery on her nose. It's inside there. She can't. Anyway, I pray for nothing acrobatic. I just say, oh, Jesus, Lord, please heal this woman or whatever ailment is on her. In Jesus' name, amen. And I forgot about it. One week later, I had a, I had a phone call. She says to me, Andy, thank you. I said, why? She said, you remember when you prayed for me? I said, yes. She says she's been on the NHS waiting list uh, to go to the hospital for a long time. She, she could not even smell her bath soap or perfume. For years, her nose was closed. You know, there's a kind of sickness people don't smell things. Just like deaf people cannot hear. There's a sickness that comes on people. It's not a sick, just a condition, disability, that the person cannot smell soap, they can't smell perfume, nothing. They just breathe, but they don't enjoy the sense of, you know, aroma. She said she could not even smell of perfume or bath soap. But when I pray for her, one week later, the whole house, the fragrance in the house, for the first time she could smell the fragrance, the flowers, the roses, she could smell the roses, she could smell her bath soap, she could smell her perfume. So she, she come in and said, thank you. But listen, listen to this. I was at my house, playing my piano, composing my songs, and, and the security guard downstairs, I'm on the 12th floor, security guard downstairs said, Mr. Lumen, I said, yeah. say, there are two women downstairs here, uh, they want to see you. Can I send them upstairs? 
I saw, yeah, son of my says, they came to my house. They came with four bags of shopping. They say, here, yeah, here, yeah, and then I brought this for you. I said, what's that? She says, clothes. She just went to the shopping center to buy me clothes. I said, oh, no, 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 no. You shouldn't have. I, I don't like people buying me clothes. My cupboard, my wardrobe is, I have two wardrobes full of suits, clothes, jumpers. Or I, I like buying my own clothes. But here's this woman come with four bags full of shopping, 10 neckties, 10 shirts, uh, belts, five trousers, jeans, uh, trousers, dress clothes, four bags full of shopping. So I said to her, oh, just pull in the corner there. She said, I came to say thank you. You prayed for my nose and for the first time, and I can smell my perfume, I can smell the roses, I can smell my bath or soap, everything. So she, she's so glad she came to say thank you Thank you. That's why she bought those clothes for me. But well, no, take them back. I don't. I don't like people buying clothes for me. I buy my own clothes. That's one thing I don't like. People buy. I have special taste in clothes. Okay, I select my own clothes. Okay. So anyway, so they don't make, don't make me feel bad. Now I brought this for us. So, all right, well, I keep it. Just put it in the corner there. She and I became good friends. Okay, she'll do my laundry. She'll invite me around her place. She'll do my laundry. She'll iron my clothes. She make me breakfast and all that thing. I'll spend the weekend there and come back to my house. So what is it? She admired the authority that I have. She admired me. You understand what I'm saying? God says, and they may preach this. Authority is different from power. Power is the government force you to do things. The slave master force you to do things. The police people force you that satanic power. You live in fear, but divine authority is admiration. When those disciples came back to Jesus rejoicing, they said, Lord, even the demons were subject to us when we call the name of Jesus and they came out where well, God said in that Bible verse the correct translation should be listen to this listen to this the correct translation should have been Lord even the demons admire us when we give them authority when we give them command to come out in, in your name Jesus they admire us and they came out fleeing so God say again, divine authority is admiration for the person who is speaking or the person who is wielding power. Okay. Uh, this program, by the way, is not for your bastard children of England. It's for men and women from the Chelsea Black Church from the age of 21 years old. To 150 years and above. Okay, so don't bring your bastard children. The Bible says, Deuteronomy 22, the bastard shall not come in the congregation of God. So we don't need your kids here. Okay. Uh, Luke chapter 8, verse 26. Anyway, subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. Luke 8, 26. Jesus heals a man with demons. Jesus heals a man with demons. One day, Jesus and his disciples sail on over to the territory of Gerasa, which is across the lake from Galilee. As Jesus stepped ashore, he was met by a man from the town who had demons in him. For a long time, this man had gone without clothes and would not stay at home, but spend his time in the caves and in the cemetery. When he saw Jesus, he gave a loud cry, threw 
himself down at his feet and shouted, Jesus, Son of the Most High God, what do you want with me? I beg you, don't punish me, he said. He said this because Jesus had ordered the evil spirits, the evil spirit, singular, to go out of him. Many times it had seized him, and even though he was kept a prisoner, he was bound in chains, his hands and feet fastened with chains, he would break the chains and be driven by the demon into the desert. This was when the people went home, the, the messengers went back to the officer's house and they found his servant well. That's the word of God. Glory to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The church on Sunday. God bless us all in peace. Amen. Let's pray our words in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ, I'm a little man, evangelist.